Hi there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to create these procedural sheaths using Bifrost. So let's start by opening and docking the Bifrost graph editor. Now we need two cubes, one for the sheaths and a bigger one to act as a container for the effect. Delete the input and drag the sheaths cube to the graph. Here I'm creating a pass node just as a dummy node in between. Let's convert the mesh to a volume and create a value node to set the resolution on all the volumes we're going to use. To create the holes in the sheaths we will use a scatter point to act as a boolean on our mesh. Set it to blue noise and give it, give it an initial small value. We can create a point scope to visualize the effect. Add a randomized geo property, set the property to point size and give some initial values. This will randomize the size of the holes. Now we need a point to volume and set an initial value of 0.2. And here we can also connect the resolution value. Merging the two volumes and set the mode to soft cut so we can cut into the mesh with the points. Let's create a voxel field to convert the volume into a field and set the property to voxel fog density. Add a dragged field to add some turbulence. And then add a fractal to it, we will play with these attributes in a minute. Now we want to convert back to a volume, make sure in the interpretation you set it to fog density. And let's again connect the resolution value. Here is where we connect the container geo into the bounding geometry. Now we just need a few nodes to smooth out the effect and control the shape. Add a fog density to level set, set it to 0.6 for now and check the smooth option. We want also to add a smooth voxel property to smooth out the output mesh. The last node is the contour dual, so we can output a mesh. And this is our result, we just need to adjust a few settings. You can play with the fractal to get different results. But the attribute we need to change is the offset in the points to volume node. Make it smaller so the points don't go so deep into the mesh. Now you can experiment with the different values to get the desired look. Change the amount of points, the random size range of the holes and so on. And of course you can play with the seed values to change the overall look. Finally, we can increase the resolution if needed. And there is nothing stopping us for, to completely change the shape of the input mesh to get the sheet slice or any other shape you have in mind. Here I have my example scene, a pretty simple setup with two pieces of procedural sheaths and a few extra objects. For the lighting I have a slight effect of a dome light plus the spotlight with a gobo attached. The sheath material I started with the blood preset, play with the reflection and subsurface settings and of course changing the SSS color. And this is the final result. Just wanted to show you this technique I learned from Sepu on how to use volumes with meshes in Bifrost. Let me know if you like this video and see you next time.